Lord, I am listening. For so long I've wanted to say my own things, journals of agendas, pros of my own possibilities. For so long I've wanted my words to promote the things I love the most, and my treasure chest have become storage closets of trophies of me, collecting my accomplishments, brushing the dust on top of them, putting them on my front room shelves for everyone to see. And when I was on the stage, I did the same thing, saying the statements I knew would be impressive, speaking in rhythms that were faster than flash, so no one could understand them, pushing my plans, my ideas, my calendars of what I thought you wanted, or at least I hope that even if you didn't, I could get away with it. And for too long, I lived like this. Speak, Lord, I am listening. I've lived not very long, but long enough to know that when you weren't my definition, my words meant nothing. I've seen how you move long enough to know that if your spirit doesn't fill our words, we're giving vessels to a thirsty world that look beautiful, but are empty. And I've walked alongside of you long enough to know that when I was without you, it wasn't pretty. I remember the sin you saved me from, the pits of hell that you pulled me from, and I have not come this far just to let pride take over me. Once again, I plead, I rebuke my need to be an exhibition. May my only ambition be to be like you and thus experience life the way you created me to, in an image less like me, in a portrait more like you. May this horizontal stage never be a vertical barricade. May nothing in this world separate from the joy of knowing you. I turn down the chaos of my life to stop and to listen, to return to my first love, to hear the truth in your language. Only you can breathe new life into these dead pages. You speak, I'll type. How can my days tell your story? You speak, I'll repeat. May my words expose your glory. Speak, Lord, I am listening. I turn down my own volume. I turn up your praise. May I be the microphone amplifying your words of grace. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. I take my words and my life off the mantle. Come be center stage. Come fill the empty vessel.